What's up guys, how are you doing? If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Philip Scrub. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Um, we've been growing really fast recently. I think we're on 1,400 subscribers as of today. So thank you everybody for pressing that subscribe button down there. Anyway, today we're talking about tethering. Now, I'm a fashion photographer. I do a lot of portraits, landscapes, and tethering comes in really, really helpful. I mainly use Capture One, but it's expensive, it's complicated, and every single update is quite a hefty price. So I've been getting a lot of questions about free software, specifically free Sony cameras. Um, yeah, there is a free software, and it's actually really good. It's pretty simple to use, and um, it's, it hasn't got any problems with it so far that I've seen. Um, I'm going to leave a compatibility list for your Sony cameras down below, and there will be a link. I'm also going to leave a link to where you can download the software, but it's pretty simple, imagingedge.sony.net. Um, now, when you go onto the site, you're going to see there's an Imaging Edge mobile, which I did a film of right here. Um, it turns your mobile phone into a wireless monitor for your camera, so that's pretty cool. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll have a download link for Windows and Mac, so make sure you download that. Now, the next thing you're going to have to do is turn on your camera, go into Network Settings, page 1, and right there you're going to have to turn off Control with Smartphone. Turn it off, or else this will not work. Then you're going to have to go into the briefcase, so um, set up, um, page four. And right there, you're going to have to turn your USB connection to um, PC remote and come out of that. Go down a little bit lower and go into PC remote settings. Right there, what you're going to have to choose then is if you want your files saved to your memory card and your laptop or only your laptop. Now, if you're filming, it's not going to save to your laptop, so it's good to have a memory card in there to... Um, save whatever you're filming. Um, once you've got that set up, you're going to have to have to have a cable, a tethering cable of a nice decent length. Um, this is one from a company called Tether Pro, and they really are fantastic. Be careful with them because any kinks might stop your connection working. Um, also, having programs like Dropbox, um, Lightroom, Capture One might also stop the connection working. So once you have all that done, make a folder, fresh empty folder. On your computer, um, call it whatever you want. I've called mine um, Imaging Edge um, Desktop. And once you have that, we're going to take our little cable, we're going to connect it to our computer, connect the other end to our camera, and we're going to turn our camera on. And it's really that simple. So then we're going to open the um, Imaging Edge Desktop, and it's going to open up this little window where you have Remote Viewer and Edit. In edit, you obviously edit the photos. In view, where you can view whatever photos you've taken, but today we're gonna to be concentrating on remote. So if you press start, it's gonna open up another window where you have whatever camera is connected. Now, if we double click on the camera that we have connected, mine is the Sony A7R III, it's gonna open up the actual remote application. Let's maximize that. And that is what the interface looks like. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna go into options really quick. You see this little box here, the focus box. I'll tell you what that's about right now. Go into settings. Now the first thing you have is preview. If you press, um, if you turn on preview, um, display preview and viewer, it's going to open up viewer every time you take a photo. That's a little bit annoying, so I have that turned off. Display preview, select the program, that will open up in any program you choose, for example Lightroom. That's annoying for me also, so I turn that off. Um, a live view, a display um, AF position. That is what you just saw, the little box. Now, that will display the position where your focus is going to be. Um, enable touch focus, so you can move this little box around, and when you press AF um, up here, it will actually automatically focus in the position you've chosen. And bulb shooting, you can choose how long the bulb shooting is going to be. Um, I don't use image transfer pairing or mode um, dial operation. So, um, at the top you have viewer. If you press that, it will open up viewer. Now, let's start this little walkthrough. I'm going to try and be really quick with you guys. Um, you can flip your image for any reason that you'd have, and it's really nice and quick. The next thing here is actually really fantastic. It's display overlay. Now, if you press it, um, sorry, let's take a photo first. If you press it and choose the photo you've just taken, touch the little arrow there, and you're going to have, for example, transparency 50%. Um, position and size, update, overlay image automatically. Make sure you have that clicked on. Now, watch what I can do. I'm just going to go away for one second, and I'm going to move the Elder Prone slider.
So you guys probably saw me on the screen moving the slider. So if we take another photo, um, we have a new photo. And every time we take a photo, you'll see the old photo in like 50% or whatever you've set it, transparency. And that is fantastic for stop motion photography. Um, so that's an excellent setting. Now it's gonna have a little orange arrow for it to work. If we press it again and again, it will turn off so it's grayed out. The next one is your little display guide. So if we press it, and we have the little orange arrow, we can actually move it, for example. So say I want that screw right in the middle and I always want it to be there and I don't want it to move, I'm gonna press it again and that is locked. So now it will not move and it will always be in the middle so I know where it's meant to be. Um, right, let's turn that off. Now we have our display guides. If we press it, we've got like the rule of thirds. If we press the little arrow next to it, we can change from the rule of thirds to, for example, a tight grid with diagonals and we can change the width of the line. So that's pretty cool, right. Now the view, if you press that, it's gonna go into the live view display mode on your camera. So you're gonna see what your camera normally sees. Now if we turn it off um, and gray it out, we're actually gonna see what the camera settings are doing to your image. So I think that's very useful and I think you should have that grayed out. The next one is live. If you press it, it just stops the live feed. So you've got that. So on the right hand side from that, we've got our battery percentage. Um, and below it, the first tab is your shooting tab. Now you've got automatic exposure lock, flash exposure lock, automatic focus, which is just like pressing your shutter halfway down. If we press it, for example, it will automatic focus. If you press on the background, it will focus on that. And if we press it back, it will focus once again on the um, Elder Crone slider. The next button is your shutter button. So if you press it, we're taking a photo. And the next button is your record button. Like I said, it's only gonna save to your memory card. So if you press it, it's gonna change the, um, the size of the frame. And if you stop it again, it's gonna go back to photo mode. Um, the next one is your interval shooting mode. So if you press this, make a folder, you can start capturing immediately. You can start capturing after a maximum of 23 hours and 59 minutes. Um, to capture interval can be between 10 seconds or 180 minutes, so not like two seconds, one second um, capture interval, which is a little bit annoying. And you can also specify the number of images um, to capture or not. Below that, you've got what mode you're in, so normal, pixel shift mode, which will open up um, the pixel shift option, which means generally it takes four photos and it shifts them by one pixel each time, um, giving you very high resolution photos. And you can also do interval shooting on camera so you can set up on camera and have it shoot here. Below that we have the main settings tab. Um, you cannot change the mode here. You're actually gonna have to go into your camera, turn it and it will change it right there. Um, but all the other settings here you can change so you can go up in shutter speed, up and down in f-stop, ISO, um, EV and flash. The one below it is sub settings so it's just like pressing your FN button on your camera. It will give you a few options. Um, now, if you want this little focus um, to work, you can't be, for example, on um, any of the other focus options. You should really be on the expandable, flexible spot, and then you can put it into different areas and focus. And below it, we have automatic focus, manual focus, which is actually pretty cool, because say we want to focus perfectly on the Elder Crone, it's opening up a new little um, option here at the top, which is zoom. So if you press it once, it's gonna go into 6.2 times zoom. If you press it again, it's gonna go into 12.4 times zoom. And by changing the focus on the camera, you're gonna see you can really, really, really pinpoint the focus um, on your um, screen, a really huge um, blow up. So that's pretty cool. Press it again and um, it will go out. Now, if you press these little arrows, the one arrows will change focus slowly, two a little bit more, and three will change focus quite a lot as you can see. Um, if we go back into automatic focus and press AF, it'll go back to the Elder Crown. There we go. Below, we've got a histogram, just in case that um, needs to be kept an eye on. <laughs> and below that, you've got the save settings, so you can um, choose where you're saving these files. And that is really it. It is really that simple. And you now, if you just buy a Terrathin cable, and there is a variety online to buy, um, you have a free setup of tethering, so you can go out somewhere, if you're taking fashion, you're taking portraits, you're with a client, you have a simple and easy way of setting um, up a tethering work ecosystem. <laughs> anyway, if you like my film, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you on the next one.